Being as successful and wealthy as Mark Cuban comes with a price. Although he is a money mogul, today we're going to be going over some of his best success tips and how you can become a future billionaire with these types of luxurious tips. Welcome to the video guys, make sure before it loads up to pause it, let it load up in that beautiful 1080p quality and leave a like and subscribe as well. It greatly helps the channel, so go ahead and do it. And it's also free, guys. Not going to blame you. Go ahead and do it. Now, let's go ahead and get into some of these Mark Cuban business tips, as they are very, very smart. First up, we have learning to sell. In business, you're always learning to sell, whether it's something as small as a pad of paper or you're working or in the works of a multi-million dollar deal. Always make sure whenever you're learning to sell, you learn to sell to your prospects, investors, and also your employees. With your prospects, you're trying to go ahead and get them on board to invest. Investors, obviously, you want them to come aboard and invest because they're potential clients. And then employees, it doesn't sound ideal, but you're going to want to go ahead and sell them on the job. You want them to want to work for you and be as successful as possible. To be the first and the best salesperson, put yourself in the shoes of the person to whom you're selling. Don't sell your product. Solve their problems. Also sell yourself. Don't worry about selling a product because it's something that they may like or something that may make their life better. Go ahead and sell your idea. Sell your business as a whole. And I promise to you, you will have no trouble making and gelling with other people in the future. Next up is the customers. Customers want to see that you have other clientele and customers that are interested. When Mark started Micro Solutions, he did the work for his first customer for free, only charging them the cost of the software. He called it his no money down approach to start a business. It's not always a bad thing whenever you're starting a business to go ahead and make sure that you sell the customer on the point that you're trying to make. Well, whenever you're selling your customers, go ahead and make sure that they're sold on the idea. If you barely have any customers at first, try and work out some deals to where you can get them on board and make them an annual customer. If you're selling an ebook or a product and you know that every time you put a new product or ebook out that your customers are going to want to go ahead and potentially buy it, go ahead and give them discounts right off the bat. Obviously, once you're a multi-million dollar industry, then you know that people are, can't live without your product. So you're going to go ahead and make sure that you build up this type of quantity and need so that customers in the future feel like they can't live without your service. Very important stuff. I definitely recommend it for everyone who does this type of thing. And yeah, I mean, Mark Cuban has perfected this in the making. Make sure that when you're selling or you're running a business or just in general in life, you have the will to win. Everyone has got the will to win. It's only those with the will to prepare that do win. Mark Cuban paraphrasing Bobby Knight here. If you guys don't know who Bobby Knight was, he was a very successful and one of the most winningest college basketball coaches of all time. Most infamous for his famous on-court antics, where he racked up a total of hundreds of technicals over the years. It was just that his will to win, it was because he was very hungry, and everyone knew that, even the college basketball analysts and refs. Now, he would usually get a lot of technicals, and one of the most famous stories that isn't talked about a lot is that Bobby Knight usually at practice would have his assistant coaches coach the whole practice while he sat in a top booth with a microphone, and if a player messed up, he would go ahead and call them out vigorously, making them run until they puked. Now, you don't have to go around and do this with your employees, making them work until they hate you, but you have to have the will to win. You have to do what you know most winners do to prepare and that is thousands of hours behind the scenes of hard work your customers can actually tell you the things that are broken and how they want to be made happy listen to them make them happy but don't rely on them to create future roadmaps for your product or service that's your job listening to your customers and customer feedback is one of the most important things you can do in your lifetime if you don't listen to them and if they're telling you a repeated thing that a lot of customers have in common and you think they're just stupid well your you know your company isn't going to succeed very well in fact it's going to flop without customers your company is useless so go ahead take their feedback very seriously and not with a grain of salt and you're going to have a very luxurious career selling whatever it is that you do very very important step here lastly one thing you can always control is effort i always like to say control your controllables anything that's out of the picture isn't in your control 
and you're gonna go ahead and be very successful in the long run. It's very important to control your controllables. Put in the time to become an expert in whatever you're doing. It will give you an advantage because most people don't do this. In fact, they just want it to come to them. And if you don't have something come to you, then it's a huge problem. This is something that a lot of people don't understand. When you control your effort, you're going to be able to control what goes in your business, what type of effort you have, what type of employees you even hire. This type of thing can make or break a company for the future. Mark Cuban is a very smart dude, and that's why he's one of the richest dudes in the world, owning an NBA team and one of the first billionaires of his generation. What type of tip did you guys like, and what tip from Mark Cuban are you going to apply to your every day-to-day -day life? I hope you enjoyed today's video guys, I'm signing off, I'll see you guys in the next video.